Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 207. The word origin today is grapefruit. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. Now, grapefruit does have a little bit of a strange name in a way, because a lot of people look at a grapefruit and say, why is that called a grapefruit? It doesn't look anything like grapes, doesn't taste anything like grapes. Why did this end up with the name of grapefruit? All right, let's continue. Uh, a grapefruit is a fruit that appears like a large orange, but is yellow on the outside and is either yellow or red on the inside. Uh, it has a very sour taste. There you go. A grapefruit is actually not a natural fruit, but a hybrid fruit of a pomelo and an orange. So they mix them together and was not discovered until the like 1700s, probably the very early 1700s, uh, in the West Indies. There are a couple of theories uh, about the name. One is that perhaps it got its name due to the fact that they grow on trees in clusters all close together and could give the appearance of grapes from a distance. And I never knew this until I did look it up online, and that's what they do. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen orange groves and orange trees. I've never seen trees growing uh, grapefruits, but, you know, um, originally from the Northeast, there's definitely no orchards or anything out there like that. All right, let's continue. Um, all right, the etymologist, John, uh, probably uh, CRD or CRD, uh, suggested another theory that the scientific name of the pomelo was citrus maxima. Now remember pomelo, that's the one that they added with the orange. I did get to taste pomelos though. In Asia, they do have pomelos. Uh, they do taste like a little bit like grapefruits or a lot like grapefruits, but n not quite as strong as the grapefruit, not quite as sour or quite as powerful as the grapefruit, but it definitely does have a grapefruit taste to it. All right, let's continue. So another name that is for the pomelo was Citrus Maxima, which was translated as the great fruit, okay? And over time, uh, through mispronunciation, it ended up with the name grapefruit. Sounds like a possibility. The other one sounds like a possibility too, but you know, it could be either one of these. All right, uh, in earlier times, um, yeah, in earlier times, the name, uh, the name of the, this pomelo was sometimes referred to as the forbidden fruit because some believed it was so delicious or possibly shadok, shadoks also had that name, which would be in honor of the English commander uh, to, you know, who br actually brought back the pomelo seeds to the New World, to, you know, the Caribbean, uh, around the Caribbean area or, you know, um, the West Indies in the 1600s. So he brought those seeds back and then once they were there, somebody must have somehow mixed it with an orange and that's where that's where they seems to first appear. Okay, good. And uh, we just have two examples here to show. I mean, because grapefruit is a common word. I know most people know grapefruit, so we don't need a lot of examples, but here we are. Uh, I'm not fond of grapefruits. The taste is too bitter for me. You might hear some people say this. Or number two here, some people believe grapefruits are good for your immune system, or I think, you know, they, they claim that in a lot of articles that they are good for you. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.